Well, two families were forced from their Flower Bluff homes tonight after a fire broke out on a boat dry dock between the two houses. This video coming into us tonight from Nueces County Emergency Services District Number 2 showing the intense flames around 4 p.m. this afternoon. Witnesses told firefighters they heard an explosion and saw heavy smoke coming from the area along Catcade Drive in the bluff. The flames spread to two nearby homes causing extensive smoke and fire damage. Garage, kitchen area, fire uh, on that wall, um, on the right side, I guess on the right wall. Uh, most, mostly exterior, but also some interior into the attic space. Uh, but then there's a lot of smoke damage throughout the house. They say it took about 20 minutes to get control of the fire. Everyone did make it out safely. Firefighters did have a challenge, though, on their hands because of a live wire that fell to the ground. AEP was called in to help with that. I got him out of the house and I uh, got his collar to my dad. He slipped out of the collar and he, he bolted. I didn't, I didn't even see him bolt, but they, they did. They said, thank, they, seriously, seriously, thank, thank you guys. No, you are more than welcome. Thank you. You have enough on your plate. When that fire started, a family dog there named Arthur decided to seize the opportunity and took off running. Fortunately, a neighbor driving by picked up the year and a half old Rottweiler and brought him back. So I was going to drive around and look for him, but I, I can't get my car out. I was looking around. I told a couple people if they had seen him. Uh, I had a couple people go out looking for him, looking for him for me, and I, I got him. But oh, buddy. Right. Well, a happy ending there. We're told a cat got out as well, but the homeowner was able to find it quickly and bring it home without a problem.